Recently, lottery miners, specifically Bitcoin lottery miners, have been a huge hit. So I've already done a review on the Nerd Miner right here. I've also done a review on the Bidax Gamma, the Bidax Supra, all these different Bidaxes. And if you remember, I've got a spreadsheet that shows basically are Bitcoin lottery miners a better investment than just buying a scratch off lottery ticket every single day? Or I think I actually did a Powerball ticket every single day. Well, today I have a new lottery miner to try out. It's basically this seven nerd miner kit from Bitcoin Merch. So we're gonna set this up today and do some analysis on where does this lottery miner fall compared to other ones, the efficiency, the chance of actually finding a block and making that $300,000 Bitcoin payout. What are the odds of actually finding one of those? Now, it's been a long time since I actually did a review on any Bitcoin Merch solo miners and a lot of stuff has kind of changed. So if you remember, at one point I actually used to have a Bidax Supra, a Bidax Gamma. I had a, um, I forget the name of it, the little blue and silver kind of box. And then I also had this Nerd Miner over here. And you'll notice that the only one that's actually still running is the USB drive. And I haven't checked this thing in forever. So when we go up to the computer, we'll check and see if this thing is even still hashing. Um, hopefully it is because it's been plugged in for multiple months, but the other ones all broke down on me. Granted the Bidax Gamma, I did fry myself. That was uh, my bad. So I can't count that one into it, but my other Bidax would just never mine for a long period of time. And, um, maybe in this video, we'll try to fix that. I've got that thing, I think over here. Um, and the only reason I say that is because I think I saw a red Panda tweet saying that there was a new Bidax firmware. So maybe we'll try to get this up and running in this video as well. Um, but main thing is we're going to try to get this up and running from Bitcoin Merch. So after today's sponsor, let's get into it. Hey guys, quick interruption to talk about today's sponsor via BTC. If you're mining Bitcoin or Litecoin, you're not going to want to miss this. Via BTC offers a few different ways to boost your mining rewards compared to other pools. First off, via BTC offers merged mining. This allows you to mine multiple cryptos at the same time. For example, when mining Litecoin, you will automatically be mining Dogecoin, Bells, Pepe, Junkcoin, and Luckycoin at the same time. Merge mining is also available on Bitcoin. The second way to earn extra income with via BTC is pool referrals. Refer anyone and you can get 10 to 20% of their mining fees. Via BTC also has an insanely competitive two hour payout schedule. So if you aren't already, definitely check out via BTC and see if you can increase your mining rewards today. I'll leave a link down below and let's get back to the video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start unboxing these things. This does come with seven USBs and then, of course, that hub that kind of powers them all. One thing I noticed is that hub is just kind of a generic USB hub for your PC that's got a Bitcoin merch kind of stamped onto it. But who cares? As long as it powers all the flash drives right here, then that's all that matters. So these things are all individually packaged and uh, you do have to set up each one individually, which is somewhat annoying. However, I think the final result is probably worth it because it does turn out to look pretty cool. So I get all six of these unboxed here and then I go to kind of start showing you guys the uh, final handful of them, just a whole bunch of USB solo miners. And then I realized I actually forgot one. <laughs> so there is seven total, don't, uh, don't be confused there. And by the way, guys, I've been doing a lot more of these kind of voiceover style videos. So let me know how you feel about that. Do you like it kind of more live or the more voiceover style? Here is the main hub. You can see it is pretty cool that it has switches on all the different hubs. So if for whatever reason you wanted to turn one off, you could do that. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I went ahead and installed these kind of one at a time and set them up. But you could plug in all seven and then uh, flip on the switch for each one as you set them up. And now would be the perfect time to shout out Bitcoin Merch. If anyone is interested in solo miners, they have a bunch of them and I will have them linked down below. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in. This USB cable I find out shortly is basically useless for this application. Um, I plugged it in and then plugged in a miner right here, but I was unable to actually get it to power up. So I do end up needing to actually use the power cable and then you can basically just throw away that usb cable it's just not needed and you're about to see that here where 
the USB power, I guess, is just not enough to power one of these because flip it on and nothing happens. So quickly realized I'm going to need to plug in the actual power cord if I want to see something out of these. And once I did that, it worked just fine. So the setup process for these USBs is actually pretty easy. Um, it's funny because the first one I ever got when I did a review video for one on its own was actually a dud. Um, but so far I've set up like eight cents and never had any issues. You just connect to the Wi-Fi and the password is mine your coins. Um, and once you're in there, you're just able to set up your Bitcoin wallet and you want to mine to the default public pool. So all you really need to do is put in your wallet and then I like to put a period and then the worker name. Um, so I named this one USB one, and then I named the next one USB two. That way I can just kind of keep track of them in case one has an issue. So here is the final working project. It looked pretty sweet. Let's take a closer look. Okay guys, we got all of these plugged in and hooked up. Just a couple things to note here. It is kind of annoying. You have to hook up every single one of these separately. The password is mine your coins but it does look pretty sweet when they are all running. I'm debating on like putting this up on my desk upstairs or something where I can actually see it. Um, Cause I think the big thing here is not really the hash rate of these things because I think it's gonna come out worse off than like a Bitax Gamma, but this looks pretty cool, I have to say. So that's probably the main selling point. Now, one thing to note here is that um, it has like a USB on it as well as a power cable. And from what I can tell, the USB doesn't really do anything. I couldn't get these guys to power up with just the USB. So I did just put in the power cable there and um, it is up and running. So what's next? Let's get this bit axe plugged in before we go upstairs. I'm going to plug this in. Hopefully it just connects to the network from the last time it was plugged in. I gotta see if I even have any power ports back there. Um, I've got so many dang devices. Let's just go take a look at it that I don't know if I have room on my power strip as you can see this power strip right here let me turn a little light on maybe that'll help is um, fully maxed out and this is things just a total bird nest so i think i actually can get it right there so let me do that and we'll see if this thing connects okay this is up and running let's see if it does connect I don't even really remember why I unplugged this the first time around. Um, I think it would just basically, I think it was restarting over and over and over again. Like the uptime would never be more than like 15 minutes basically. Um, so it really wasn't doing anything. Does show accepted shares. I'm waiting for it to show which IP it's on so I can find it upstairs and mess with the firmware. There we go, 68.56. Okay, let's head upstairs and we will check out if we can get that thing running and what these guys look like did all seven show up okay guys so before we jump into the chances of actually finding a block on this device if you do want to purchase it it is on bitcoin merch right here for 199 or you can get the large screen version for 240 i don't actually know what that means large screen version um i'm, I'm guessing now that's like a gaming console May, oh, wow. Is that a larger screen on the USB miners maybe? So that's interesting. I think the standard is probably fine. You definitely don't want to spend the extra $40 for the same amount of hash rate. I will have links for this down below. So my uh, bid axe did show up right here. So that's good. So let's quickly fix this thing. I believe we need to upload some firmware. So we will download this firmware right here. It's going to save it. Um, we can go ahead and keep that file. And then we just go ahead and update the firmware. We go to downloads and we select that bin file and we'll let that do its thing. Hopefully that fixes my issue and now my bid axe shows up just fine. So let's check out the public pool. This is the pool that I have all of my solo miners on. I think it definitely is the best one for solo mining. My nerd miner too, that the one USB solo miner that has been running for a long time was on there and you can see the uptime is six days. So this thing is still working, which has been my main complaint with solo miners. And I was briefly discussing it earlier is that 
a lot of them are not lasting very long. They don't, uh, they run into issues where they just stop hashing and basically you got to throw them away after however many months of them not working. But in this case, these nerd miners, this one is still going strong after like seven months. So that is a good sign that the rest of these are going to last a long time. And at least you can look forward to that. Now these USBs one through seven did show up. So they're all working correctly. They all have the hash rate is around 70 kilohash. Now I forget what is the actual marketed hash rate on these things. I believe it's right around that 70 mark. Yeah, so basically uh, 70 kilohash for 0.71 watts. Um, that's what these are going at. And you can see all of them are around that number. One's below and one's high. It, it all kind of averages out. So that's good. All of that appears to be working fine. Let's check in back on the bid axe here. Appears to be working good. Um, so I think that's fixed. We'll monitor this over the next few weeks. If I'm still seeing the same thing where the uptime is always like 15 minutes, then I'm just gonna turn it back off. But maybe that firmware fixed it. It supposedly was a pretty big firmware. So if you guys are having an issue, maybe update your bid axes. So let's get to the interesting part of the video. And that is what I like to compare all Bitcoin lottery miners to is, are you better off than buying a Powerball ticket? Because it seems like every time I go into the gas station, there's people buying Powerball tickets every time. And I want to tell these people, hey, you're better off just buying a Bitcoin solo miner. And then you save gas driving to the gas station every day. Um, so that's what this comparison right here is. Basically, if you bought a Powerball ticket every month, you have a $60 monthly cost and your average reward time is 800,000 years, but that payout is going to be 141 million. So we divide all those columns to basically get your average reward per year divided by the cost to get that. And so you want a higher number here is going to be kind of the best deal or the most kind of efficient way to spend your money. And so far out of all the ones I've reviewed, the Bidax Gamma was by far the best, scoring a 20 right there. Um, whereas the Bidax Supra, the one I just plugged back in, has a 10 for that score. And previously, the Lucky Miner LV07 had a score of 7.5. And that's actually uh, better than I remember it. I thought this was worse for some reason. It, it is because I'm looking at the wrong one. This is the Nerd Miner. So you can see just how small your reward per year per cost is for the nerd miner and that's because the hash rate is so infinitesimally small that you do not have a chance to get a block unless it is well, let me see here so uh 200 billion years so basically longer than the existence of the universe is how long you're on average going to take to hit a block with the nerd miner usb2 so divide that by seven Let's see what that is. So we're gonna fill out the columns right here for the Nerd Miner, the 7X version, the combo. The device cost is 177. The hash rate is going to be this right here times seven. And then our wattage is gonna be the exact same, this right here times seven. So we're only running five watts total. Um, that being so small, I'm not even gonna check that. And then our efficiency on this thing, um, I need to expand the decimals on this and we can see right there same efficiency because it's basically the same device just seven of them the monthly cost it's going to cost you 40 cents to run all seven of these devices for a whole month so monthly cost is basically nothing I think the cool thing here is that you just have a very cool looking device anybody who comes to you if you got a shop or something anyone who stops by is going to be like what is that when I was setting these things up my wife came down and she was like, what is that? Solo miners. Very cool looking device. I will say that. I definitely like it. The looks of it more than any of the other solo miners I've seen. Unfortunately, the score is just very, very low. So we'll, our average award time with seven of them is down to 28 million years. So much lower than the 200 billion, but still incredibly, incredibly small. And if we expand the decimals here, our score is still very, very low. And in fact, our score is actually worse uh, than just the one bit axe on its own. So I'm not entirely sure. I guess I would have assumed that would have come out the same, um, but it did not. So maybe it's just a rounding error. So the good news is my bit axe seems to be up and running. This seems to be up and running fine as well. 
So I'm pretty happy with that. I want to thank Bitcoin Merge for sending this out and sorry for the delay, guys. Uh, I was supposed to make a video on this a long time ago, probably two months ago, and it's just been sitting in my garage, but I finally had time today to get it set up and I am going to leave it running because it's a very cool looking device. I wish I could like put it on these shelves in the background and you'd be able to see it, but it's just so small. I don't think that would work out. So very cool device. I'll probably put it on my minor shelf. And again, guys, if anyone's interested, I will have a link down below. As always, thanks for watching. If you're interested in the bid axe, I will leave my bid axe video up here on your way out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.